Take a look at this spot. Uh, deciduous trees, conifers. Anyone think I'm in the UK? But uh, not far out of Ballarat. Come to this uh, this reserve. It's absolutely stunning. Um, funny enough, the guy who planted all these uh, conifers in here um, was an English guy. He came out to Australia in the 1800s. Came out to Australia from the UK. I'm not sure whereabouts. Um, to be a miller, sawmill, um, old growth uh, forest here in Australia. Um, he came out here, made a life for himself, and then realized the beauty of, of the forest. And I guess he kind of wanted to see if he could grow some UK trees um, out here in Australia. And uh, he was successful. So he went a uh, full 360, went from cutting down trees uh, to, from a miller, um, getting uh, wood, uh, lumber and all that out of here to uh, coming back in here about a hundred years ago and planting all these beautiful uh, we got oak trees in here <clears throat> and like I say different conifers a lot of deciduous trees and I can't wait to come back here in a few weeks when all of this will be uh, orange and red but yeah I'm greeted with this scene straight up really grabbed my eyes um, this uh, old I think it's an oak tree has fallen um, at some stage and uh, it's just got these cool gnarly branches leading you up back into these uh, other pine trees and uh, other trees back in here looks looks kind of um, well I'm hoping it's gonna make a nice image but yeah I'm gonna set up I'm still deciding on which side of this uh, trunk I'm gonna set up on but uh, it's an overcast day so really nice diffused light perfect for this uh, woodland photography ah uh, yeah I think when an image, when you walk past uh, in uh, woodland or forest photography uh, and a tree is screaming at you to take his photo, you got to be obliged and get your camera out and take its photo. So this uh, old dead fella, well he's not dead actually, he's still sprouting. Um, so he's uh, still alive. I want to uh, grab his image and do him justice and I'm going to explore this area around here, see what else I can get. First, let's set up for this image. That sun uh, is just dipping in and out of the clouds there. I managed to get a quick shot uh, as that cloud rolled in, and now it's popped back out. So I'm gonna wait a little bit longer. Um, couple of issues, again, with this image. I really like it. Uh, like I said, when a scene jumps out at you and says, take my, take my image, you know, get out there and do it. <laughs> this one speaks to me. Um, the gnarliness of these branches to the left of the frame go up and I want to incorporate them. However, way back in the uh, distance there, I, I can see the sky breaking um, through the back of the camera. So it's kind of like I mentioned in my last video, I'm going to have a blown out patchy sky um, behind it there, which is unfortunate. So I might take a, take a, a, a wider sort of uh, angle crop maybe. Um, not a square, 16 by nine, and maybe uh, have some of these trees around the side here um, as its friend, sort of um, like a circle of friends around it. I think it works really nicely. Also, um, of course, and I, I always say it, coming back here in fog, where that sky is um, completely gone, could be, a, could be a magical image to, to come back and revisit when I have fog, but yeah. I'm gonna wait for that uh, that sun to just disappear, get this shot, put it up for you, and then I'm just gonna explore this old wooded area. Looks fantastic. <laughs> Thank you. 
Yeah, I know what you're thinking. Um, that's the tree I took first off, so down that end. And um, I'm gonna grab this image on the way back, definitely. Just love it. Yeah, I'm gonna carry on this way. seen all this uh, oak tree back here from every angle uh, and I'm really liking it uh, here simply because there's a, a lot of uh, dense bush behind it <clears throat> excuse me so that's kind of blocking all that mess all that uh, chaos back there is kind of blocking whereas if I came around the other side of that tree it was all open behind us here and again I'm just waiting for that light it's just not helping when you get harsh sunlight uh, there's too much contrast within the scene. Um, you could break it if you want, but I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to wait for the light. You can see this beautiful tree um, up here. The branches just sprawl out like these fingers. I'm hopefully making for a great image. And I'm, again, I'm not sure if I'm going to do square crop. We'll try and get the whole tree in. But uh, probably... The base of the tree maybe up to well probably with the vlogging cameras uh, and get there's one two and there's a tree in the back there making three trees could be a good image so i think the light's dropping off now and i'm going to play around with my crop here you know don't settle on something cover all your bases and uh, yeah go from there gonna be my last image if I can get it. Um, I notice the clouds are kind of breaking up and you probably see a lot more light filtering through the the uh, forest here which um, is not a uh, not very good for woodland photography when you got all those blown out patches and that high contrast like I mentioned earlier. So fingers crossed I'm gonna sit here for a few minutes there is a little bit of cloud I can see through the canopy coming this way which will, might block the sun out momentarily and I'll get this image, which uh, really just looks stunning. You've got the fallen trunk here. And then it's sort of complemented with these the two limbs coming off. And they're intertwining up the top there. Um, unfortunately, I don't think I'll get that top. Uh, again, it's uh, in the light. So um, definitely an image to come back to and play around with on another day. But yeah, what a location, stunning. Um, be coming, coming in here quite a bit I, I believe um, and I've only just basically uh, walked around um, you know, uh, a small amount of it it's way back up in there there's heaps more um, oak trees and uh, more deciduous trees uh, which I haven't even explored yet so can't wait for that anyway I'm going to stay here get this image hopefully in the right light if not i'll get it and chuck it up anyway but i'll uh, wait for that cloud to come over and i'll slowly make my way back to the car 